Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, and today, or whatever time you're watching this, nighttime maybe, um, we're going to be reviewing a pair of shoes. Okay, so anyway, it's going to be the Tunic SE DC shoe. Also, not sponsored, I I just bought these with money, and I skated them, as you can tell. As you can tell, they have been skated in. I don't know. Um, yep, as you can see, I skated the crap out of them. So... I'm going to tell you guys what I like and don't like about them, and whether or not you should buy them or not. So let's get right into it. Well, first thing that I noticed about these that I liked was the shoelaces where they're placed. And it's placed pretty high so they don't rip as as much because a lot of times shoelaces go down to like right here, or they're like all the way down here, and they rip faster because they're right where you flick, which is kind of stupid. I don't understand why a lot of people put shoelaces there. But these shoes did that part right, and uh, yeah. So I didn't go through very many shoelaces with these because they're good placement. And then the flick for the kick flips was really good. It lasted a long time before it started opening up, but it was really good for kick flips for a while, like a little while. And then um, for heel flips. I would not recommend getting these shoes if you're going to try to do a heel flip because there's no protection here at all. It's like nothing. You do a heel flip and it hurts immediately. Like I got a hole here within like five heel flip tricks. The insoles, not very good. I would replace them if you get these shoes. Like, yeah, really, really bad. The outsoles, they lasted a pretty good time. The outsoles, they didn't start doing this until the very end so I'm satisfied with that so if you skate these shoes for a while it rips right here a little bit and then it loosens everything else and then the shoes become really really loose no matter how tight you put them so they don't they don't really last too long like they're good shoes at first they're really good and then they uh, they wear out kind of fast I would get these if you're gonna be just doing kickflips and you're not gonna be doing heel flips or jumping down really big stuff it's future me from the future to, and so my camera decided to stop recording so I lost the last bit of footage so I'm just gonna finish it through this voiceover yeah okay well anyway um, the shoes were yeah, not the best shoes not the worst shoes they're pretty good but I wouldn't get them if you're jumping off stuff or doing heel flips but they're pretty good for kickflips. Other than that, they're they're not bad shoes. But I probably wouldn't recommend getting these if you're like a really hardcore skater because you can't really do a whole lot of stuff with them. I mean, or well, if you're a whole lot of jumping off of stuff. If you like to jump off of stuff and do heel flips, which is most skateboarders, I wouldn't get these. But they're pretty good. They're not bad. This is um the end of the video. Comment down below if you've had these shoes. And if you like them or not, and uh, these uh, enjoy some of my skateboarding that I did with these shoes. Hey. Yes! 